D.4 Query Implementation in DAO Data Access Object yeah. When we have a new query, the most efficient way is we put it in the appropriate DAO Java class Here we will do it in that way yeah. Some students already asked me about that yeah, That's correct yeah. So they guess it should be there yeah. Here let me show you how do we do it in problem DAO class All right. Add one query method in DAO Only one but you can use the same way if needed number two, number three as many as you want yeah. let us get into this problem DL Java class yeah. .java yeah. the first thing we need to add that query object prepared statement object prepare statement object yeah so this one here we know just know every query we need to use this object or another possibility statement object statement object is a superclass of prepare statement object prepare statement is a subclass of statement uh, yeah so interface actually statement is a super interface Prepare statement is a sub interface. Yeah. The details uh, in, uh, I, I will explain in animal survey example. Yeah. I haven't explained that. Yeah. But here you just uh, use it. Yeah. Similar to the queries before. The query results we did in the current code already. So this one is newly added, total props. So let us add another variable. So this is newly added. All right, yeah. After that, yeah. then in the constructor, yeah. so this is instance variable part. Yeah. So this is the instance variable part. All right, yeah, so you know yeah, where it is. Then this part, we add, add it into the problem DAO constructor. It, constructor you you know just below the results you can find the results location right just below the results you add this uh, another statement total probs equals put the right query from the d.3 video we uh, made this query and it also we test it it is correct. Yeah. So you put there the right query into, you know, that double quotes inside that double quotes. Yeah. All right. So that is the preparation we need. Yeah. Next, we need to write the query method. Yeah. So the next step, the query method. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Still in this class but we create a new method so this new method here let us just call get a problem total okay no parameter we don't need to pass any parameter yeah we just you know execute run this method it returns integer value total number of questions in the table all right here we use an integer variable yeah, here, you know, I just called this one. Yeah, you know, the concrete name. You can change if you like. You know. Yeah. All right. So then, in the try block, yeah, 
because when we do database queries, we need to put in a try block. Certain exception could be generated. Yeah. So we need to handle any possible exception yeah. there. All right, first, resolve set, because we use the select statement, right? Yeah, select statement. Select statement, we expect return result. So we need to use result set. So this is another interface. Yeah, result set. Yeah. So this object will contain the query result. Yeah. Query result usually it is a table. You have rows, columns. All right. Yeah. Typically. Yeah. But the row number of rows for this query, this query we only have one row. Yeah. One row. And we only have one column, one column, yeah, because here the column number here is one. One row, one column, okay, you just have one item. See, you only have one item, yeah, it's okay, yeah, all right. Now we exit the query, then we have this object, we need to process it, all right, yeah. Then before we do processing, you need to execute this object dot next why dot next yeah because based on the nature of the query result before you call that next the read read pointer yeah data read pointer yeah so here let us imagine so there is a data read pointer Because the point of point to one row, then you can read that row data, right? So then you move the pointer, you know, different locations, then you can read data from different row. All right. Here, at the beginning, the pointer is placed before the first row. Yeah. So that is the, you know, the design. In Java JDBC design. So before you read any row, the pointer is placed before that first row. After you call the next method, then the pointer moves down one row. So it is placed on the first row. All right. So then you read, yeah, read the data. Total RS dot get integer yep yeah, because this is an integer so get integer this one corresponds to the first column all right first the field if you have second field you want to read the data from second field then parenthesis two and so on all right here we only have one column so we only have one yeah so you put one yeah then this sh should contain the correct number yeah then this method returns that number so we are done yeah. so that's all we need to do in this query method all right okay all right so in this video we just complete at this point yeah yeah later in the next two videos i show you two different methods to use this dao object and get the data we need and a display but there are two different ways so that's why i need to use two videos to talk about those two different ways you can use any one you like all right yeah but uh, when i go to those two videos for you know in order to save time a little bit so i already i make this d a o problem d a o class updated okay so using the code i put here in this video i already get it ready so the next two video i just use this class directly all right, yeah.
So let us finish D.4 right here.